Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion No Equipped Items, where last time we became a proper member of the Mage's University Guild, which one is which? Um, I think we became a part of the Mage's University, we're already with the Mage's Guild, it's, it's all a bit complicated, I don't really get it. Uh, what I need to do is now craft a staff, which I'm never going to use. So, yeah, I can't fast travel. I can't actually fast travel straight to the location, but this should be fine. I'm pretty sure this is like the DLC rock, but we won't be going through there. I just do a short swim to there, go over, and yeah, should be really easy. Uh, the only thing that's going to stop me is, yeah, I'll need to go through a few of these load points first. Ah. As I'm wandering around, uh, the marker east is where I need to go, but the game's convinced I need to travel through wherever it wants to take me. Yeah, it looks like we got some, ooh, Woofsters who are going to be trying to cause problems. Can I remember? Hey, I can kind of remember my hotkeys, that's good. Excellent. Alright, this is the area immediately around the Imperial City. Hey, and actually, look at that, it updated. Skyrim normally doesn't do that. You know what, Oblivion, I'll, I'll give you credit where it's due. You actually update your quest markers alright. Uh, oh, okay, this wasn't the one. Oh, this is a different exit from the sewers. Interesting. Yeah, I just need to head this way, and I doubt I'll be encountering anything too difficult. Maybe just, yeah, more mud crabs and wolves. Not a big deal at all. Oh, and lovely. It, I don't seem to have dis... Oh, that's just the tower. I don't seem to have properly discovered it as a location location. Or, okay, maybe I did. Yeah, I just didn't notice. It was probably while I was fighting some stuff. But we have made it to Wellspring Cave. Inside we go, and you look dead. Where are you? I have found Zarasha, who is dead. I should investigate what happened to her. Yeah, she oh, has a key. Wait, am I allowed keys? Yeah, keys don't get equipped. Uh, are you... I mean, you look like an enemy. <laughs> yep, you're an enemy. <laughs> okay. I really wanted to get a sneak attack there, but I also didn't want to accidentally hit one of my own people. I think that'd be much worse. Oh boy. Okay. Gotta be mm, careful. Hey, I got her to hit one of her own though. That's good. Uh, this one. Mm, okay. Okay, gotta remember I'm not actually... Jeez, my skeleton sucks so much. Like, it's just so bad. And why are you not... There we go taken anywhere near enough damage. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, a bit of a mage's duel. Mm, where I'm just gonna have to dodge. Oh, back and forth. Lovely, though. Got myself... Are you dead? Okay, you are dead. Yeah, got myself a little hit. Oh, potions. I kind of forget potions are a thing. These are probably worth picking up as well. Wait, yeah? Mm, I don't know. Alright, so it looks like you've been killed by necromancers. Oh, this is just for charter, we know all about that. Ooh, a bedroll, I could level up. Uh, I, the comment section has been just completely filled with conflicting information. People saying I should level no skills, people saying I need to level up more to be stronger, people saying alchemy's amazing, people saying alchemy's terrible. Pretty much any time someone has a strong opinion about something, there'll be another com comment on the next episode that actually that opinion's wrong and the complete opposite is what I should be doing. So that's quite fun. Um, I think willpower, agility, speed. I mean, these are the ones that I've used the most, apparently. That's, okay, that's destruction. I definitely want destruction up. Restoration 2. That's got, okay, security, sneaker, marksman. Hmm. That's not bad. I mean, I might go with speed just for this time so I am a bit faster, because I feel like that's always something I want. Endurance I don't have, um... I've had people say I should get endurance, but it's also not linked to any skills. I don't know. I don't know. I really do not know at all. More carrying isn't too important. Intelligence would be kind of nice. You know what? For this one, willpower, agility, speed, I'm just going with one of the highest. We'll leave it at that for now. And, oh, okay. I thought the game was going to die on me there, but no, we have made it through. And let's just see who else we have to kill, because I'm guessing there's going to be plenty more necromancers. This isn't going to be a one-and-done situation now, is it? Oh, lovely. Oh, this is great. Okay, if I can sneak attack the necromancers, apparently this is a million times easier. 
Cool, cool, cool. Fingers crossed there's no friendlies left, which is a weird thing to hope for. Boy, I hope they wiped out everyone. But for me, it's going to make things so much better. Because, yeah, I can just cast a few fireballs, have the game lag during it, and then it'll all be good. Excellent stuff. Well, well. Oh, dear. Look who we've got it appears... Here. Yeah, I can't quite sneak attack everyone. <laughs> but you've only summoned a skeleton. And as we know from my own skeleton, skeletons suck. So this should all be fine. <laughs> yep. But <laughs> I love being able to bounce them. Oh, okay, I mistyled that one. Yeah, being able to bounce the necromancers is quite a lot of fun. <laughs> Just uh, makes magic a bit more interesting. <laughs> oh dear. You're going to try and attack me, aren't you? Maybe you were going to talk to me first. Oh, oh boy. Oh no. Oh, there's a lot of you. I, all I did was go outside. Oh, my, my personality's being drained. But I need that to keep these videos entertaining. Otherwise, who knows how bad this stuff will get. Oh, look at all my health. Oh, it's almost like having absolutely no armor is, you know, a disadvantage. Oh, I'm getting hit with so much stuff. You know what? Go, go for the skeleton for a bit, alright? Oh! All my health just came back all of a sudden. Okay, you... You're actually quite nasty. Oh, damn! Skelly boy! Damn! Skelly boy did damage! And kept him busy, too! Why is Skelly... Is it because I've hit level 2? Does Skelly boy get upgraded based on my level? I don't know, but you know what? Skelly boy, you can come back. After defeating one of them, you've earned your place as my Magicka recovery device. And apparently you kill the other one. Yep, necromancers that ambush me have been defeated. I need to get wood for a staff and get back to Raminus to tell him what's happened. I like how my character's still going for the staff. The staff that they're never going to use. They're like, oh yeah, I better get that, you know. A uh, bit of gold. I wonder if the others have any good loot. Oh, a stone chest with... Oh, an unfinished staff. Yeah, I'll need that. I'll be able to sell it afterwards, I guess. So, that's that's something, you know? Alright, a few potions from the necromancers, and here we had the other person. Yeah, a letter. I found a letter who is dead. <laughs> Thanks, quest update. Good to let me know. Oh, she had a little gold on her. I did get one enchanted item, which was this resist poison blue and green thing, which obviously I'm not allowed to wear, because I have to stay naked, or at least as naked as... I'm allowed to be. Oh, interestingly, it's the Middle Island, which I think I just about avoided, <laughs> that I've ended up on. I wonder if I could have sequenced broke this at all, just by lumbering up the cliffs somehow. Although it does seem like these cliffs are designed not to be too easily lumbered up. But you know what? This actually looks like a bit of a good slope. So I'm going to go down here just to see if it's possible. Oh no, Oblivion hates... Yeah, Oblivion does hate you going up slopes, but look at that. It is just manageable. Cool. Well, I didn't sequence break, and I don't know if you can. But maybe. Back to the university, and Ramanus, what up? What? Necromancers at the cave? Uh, yeah. I mean, they're all dead now. They, they'd need another necromancer to get back. Yaletta and Zorasha dead. I can't believe it. They've never been so bold before now. Always hiding in the shadows, staying away from the guild. What could have prompted this? I'll need to speak to the council about this. Thank you for relaying the information. I'll tend to your staff and your wounds if necessary. Delmar at the Kiranasium can help you with the staff. See him right away. Alright, I will do. You shall have a true uh, apparently, steps. yep, I need to just head through here and then it's... Oh, I... I always forget that there's buildings out the back of the Major Center. Major Center, Major's University. Ah, yeah, there's like four different buildings, which probably have important stuff in them. But for now, all we're doing is heading through this one and getting our staff fixed so we can hopefully sell it right back to him. Welcome to the Chironasium. Can I help you? Yes, would you like to buy a staff? Ah, oh, yes. This is a big step for you, friend, whether you know it or not. Now you'll need to decide what sort of staff you're looking for. Something that fits you and your abilities. Shall we begin? Uh, sure. How about a staff that doesn't exist or is worth a lot of gold? Either one will do. 
Enchanting staves can be a tricky business. Only certain spells will be truly useful to you, so I'll narrow it down some. Let's start with the school. Which appeals most to you? Destruction, illusion, or mysticism? Which is worth the most value? Um, I don't know. Let's go mysticism. There are three things I can enchant the staff with. Soul trap, telekinesis, and dispel. Telekinesis sounds expensive. Let's go with that one. The staff will allow you to manipulate objects normally out of your reach. A handy and often amusing spell. Is this what you'd like? Sure. I Let me know in the comments if I picked one with good value or screwed this up. Right. I'll get to work. You come see me tomorrow, and I'll have your staff ready. Ah, tomorrow, you say? I wonder how long that will take to happen. A apparently a long time, because I'm struggling to even drag this. I don't think you can do... No, you can't do the Skyrim thing where you just drag it along. So this will actually take a minute. One day waited, and hopefully now the staff will be ready. Welcome to the Chironasium. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm the person who's been standing still for 24 hours waiting for their staff to be done. Yes, it's all finished. It's in that cupboard back in the corner. I hope it serves you well. You're just going to have me rummage around in your cupboards. That that doesn't se seem sensible. Also, there's not a quest marker for it. Is it this cupboard? It's this one. 588. That's not bad. And also, apparently, I'm allowed to just take all this? Cool. Thank you for the scrolls. I will sell them to you. Ooh. Ah, uh, this is to make enchanted item items. There was there was quite a loud sound effect to that. You're not also a merchant, are you? No, you're not. Okay, I have to find a different merchant to sell stuff to. Headed back inside where everyone's. Yeah, I I know you'll jump about. You'll just do this, don't you? You'll just do this while I'm not in here. I know that oblivion jumping's fun. You don't need to tell me. Yeah, because you can bounce off items quite easily as well. Oh dear, acrobatics going on. Let's stop that. Uh, you got more quests for me. I have a new task for you. Yep, what's the task? Before you begin, we must first discuss your advancement within the guild. Alright, advancement then. Give me a promotion. In accordance with guild rules, you now qualify for the rank of journeyman. May you wear your rank well. Cool. Uh, what's the job? The Council is investigating what happened at Wellspring Cave. Many of our resources are devoted to the task, leaving our ranks spread thin. There is a related book that needs to be recovered. It was recently loaned to Janice Hasseldor, the Count of Skingrad. I'd like you to retrieve it. I understand this may not seem the most important of tasks, but still, it needs doing and you are one of the few available to do it. A note of caution. Skingrad is an unusual place. Be prepared for the unexpected. All right. Uh, I don't May suppose I interest you... you in some of my fine wares. Okay, yeah. He um he sells spells, but he doesn't buy anything. Fair enough. I guess we're off to Skingrad then. Oh damn. Okay, Skingrad's got style. I like all the pointy bits, that's kind of nice. The church is, yeah, that's a real centerpiece. And especially all the flaming things along this bridge. This is Castle Skingrad here. And boy oh boy is this, yeah, quite fancy. I dig it. Into Castle Skingrad, and yeah, it looks like we're going to have to speak to the assistant to the king or count, whatever he was. Yes, the Major's Guild, you say? Oh, the Count is quite aware of your presence here. He simply has no interest in granting you an audience at this time. Now that I've seen you myself, I can't say that I blame him. Nevertheless, I shall endeavor to change his mind on the subject. Return tomorrow. Perhaps he will see you then. I can't believe they would reject me. Like, come on. What possible reason could there be for not accepting this person into your castle and listen to everything they have to say? Terrible stuff. Uh, this is another one where I just have to wait 24 hours, which seems, you know, kind of pointless when there's a wait feature, but sure. Alright, I've stood still for 24 hours, what do I get? You there. I have an update for you. 
The Count has agreed to see you, but not here. He wishes to meet you north of the cursed mine outside of town, after 2 a.m. It would be wise of you to be on time. Follow the road west out of Skingrad, through the high pasture. The mine entrance is south of the road. The Count will meet you just outside it. Gotta be real, not a big fan of meeting outside the cursed mine. There's just something about it which puts me off. Apparently this is the spot I'm supposed to meet. The cursed mine is clearly over there. But yeah, this is the spot I'm supposed to meet. It's... It, there's the city. It's so close to outside. Um, and was it 2am? Maybe. Oh, I really should have paid more attention. Uh, well that's midnight. Uh, it's 1am. Maybe I just wait till now. I'll, I'll probably be there on time. It's 2am and... Over here. Uh, that, 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 that's that's a necromancer. That's yes, that's you. That's a necromancer. We can't talk here. Too public. Meet me behind the great chapel at midnight. Don't let anyone follow you. I'll make it worth your while. Oh dear. Okay, I remember Glaffy. He's yeah. This isn't actually um what I want. Aha, Shepherd, you go forward. Yes. Mighty Shepherd, you shall defeat the necromancers for me. Oh dear. Um, okay, well now I want to get them engaged while the Shepherd's here. Because he'll obviously turn the tide of the battle. This is an un well, well. You're early, mage. And your voice has changed. I'm afraid I misled you. The Count won't be arriving. In fact, he doesn't even know you're here. <gasps> We're not about to let the Guild interfere with our plans. For the Count or otherwise. So, you'll have to die. Don't worry. We'll put your body to good use, I assure you. Well, that's good to know. One thing you can always count on with necromancers is that they're going to recycle properly. And I do appreciate that. The shepherd also is not helping, I've realised. Um, oh, this guy appears to be trying to help. Janus Hasseldor. Why does that name ring a bell? Oh, destruction skill increased, and fire, frost, and lightning have flowed from your fingertips. You are now a journeyman in destruction magic and can cast journeyman level destruction spells. Well, that's good. Um, let's, yeah, bring this up, and are you just punching people? I mean, I've, oh, no, 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 nasty, nasty, nasty. Oh, damn. Okay, keep punching people. Jeez, Janus, you are. You impossible fool. What possessed you to think I would suggest a meeting here, of all places? He's the Count. At least your gullibility served some useful purpose. I knew about Makeda, but not his friends. Now none of them are a threat any longer. Ah. Okay, I'm pretty sure I saw nasty things while you were doing that, so I'm guessing you're a vampire. Uh, but yeah, thank you for helping me kill them. Carry on. Despite what your council may think, I've not thrown in with the necromancers and would never do so. You may pass along that message. Alrighty, and... I was here for a book? That apparently passed me by. Would you dare make demands of me now? And a book of all things. Your gullibility knows no bounds, it would seem. You believe your council would send you here to merely fetch a book? <laughs> no, they wanted information on me and what is going on here. Well, now they shall have it. Tell your council that the next time they want something from me, they come themselves. They don't send someone under false pretenses. Cool. Yep, and I had no idea. Although I did say, I did say the cursed mine, not a great meeting place. And I was right. Yes, I see that now. I regret that Traven has involved you in this way. At least you've survived. For now. Perhaps in the future you can be trusted enough to deal with more serious matters. Now our business here is concluded. I suggest you return to your council. Will do, and thanks again for all the help. Uh, that would have gone quite badly for me, I imagine, otherwise. And now, 
Oh, I get a, I get a loot people for stuff that isn't actually that great. Although I get keys to your castle. That's that's probably going to come in handy at some point. Headed to the mage's quarters where, hey, here's Raminus. You want to get up, buddy? i got stuff to tell you. Have you been to Skingrad and seen Count Hasseldor? Yes, I have. He wasn't happy. Saved you, did he? Well, that's a good sign. I must apologize. It was never the Council's intention to put you in harm's way. And, yeah, why didn't you just tell me the truth then? I could have stocked up on spells or hired a bodyguard or something. The Count's unique nature is not public knowledge. The Council wishes to keep it that way. At the time, it was believed that there was no reason to inform you since it was not crucial to the task you were given. For that reason, I was unable to disclose more about his true identity to you. Clearly, that judgment was in error. I apologize. Alright, and why was I actually sent to Kingrad? That's how you actually pronounce it for anyone wondering. Archmage Traven feared that sending a high-ranking official with the guild might draw too much attention and provoke a reaction from the Count. We were also concerned that it might drive any necromancers in the area underground, making them more difficult to root out. I see. We simply wanted to survey the situation in Skingrad. Our relationship with Hasseldor is tenuous at best. The Council has agreed to keep his nature a secret, and in exchange, he occasionally provides us with useful information. I mean, he's got fangs. Surely anyone who meets him face to face can figure it out, right? As a vampire, the Count has few allies he can trust. He has disguised his nature from most, but cannot hide it from the Council of Mages, so he approached us with an accord. As you have seen, that agreement is under a great deal of strain lately. The Count does not agree with certain policies the Guild has established. And I say you protect a vampire. I don't want to say that. I think it's fine to protect a vampire. I'm cool with that. It's not quite that simple. Hasseldor is powerful, to be sure. But the Council does not consider him to be a threat. After all, he has ruled over Skingrad for quite some time, without incident. And you no longer trust him? We feared Hasseldor may have been involved with the Necromancers. Thanks to your involvement, it would seem that he is not. At least, not for the moment. We will continue to monitor the situation, but I assure you, we will make no further attempts to mislead you. You have done your job admirably, and I thank you for it. Excellent. So, do I get a promotion for this? Your services to the Guild have not gone unnoticed. As of this moment, you have gained the rank of Evoker. Along with your new rank, please take this amulet. May it help keep you safe in times of danger. Thank you for this thing I can sell. Um, yeah, we've ranked up twice in the Mage's Guild in one episode. I don't know how many ranks there are, but this might be quick to get through. Are you ready for it? If not, I understand you've been through quite a bit lately. I mean, I'm ready for the next task. What else am I going to do? Very well. There's a research project going on at one of the alien ruin sites on the eastern side of the province. Irlav Jirol is in charge of the project and is apparently in need of some help. I thought you might need a break after the things you've been exposed to lately. You can find Irlav in the Archmage's Tower. A... a break? Are you... You complete oh, idiot, you're sending me into an alien ruin as a break. I'm gonna push your apprentice around. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Apprentice, in the corner. No, in the corner. Okay, apparently I'm not very good at that. What? You, you just went to a different bed. You, that's weird. Alright, so yeah, the alien ruins, which... Why is it telling me to go there? Okay, maybe I need to leave before it will update. Okay, it's telling me to go through here, but there's also a red marker. wonder if I should just wait a couple of hours, see if there's someone I'm supposed to speak to who's still here, who just needs to show up. 
All right, I'm quick saving and seeing if I'm allowed in here. Because the fact it's red is like, don't do that. But then it's also, yeah, it's also telling me to go and chat with you. Okay. You're about Vatican, are you? It's a damn shame. I haven't been giving the project the attention it deserves. The last report I received from Scalio indicated there was some sort of problem, a blocked passage or something that they couldn't get past. I'd investigate it further, but I'm needed here with the council. Ramana says you've got a good head on your shoulders. Look into it for me, will you? You can find Scalil at the site. Access is restricted, so you'll need this key. Alright, cheers for the key, but I really don't appreciate the fact that I'm clearly going to, um, yeah, get attacked by a bunch of stuff in here. We all know that's going to happen. I'm Karanya, Master Wizard, and far too important to be talking to you. So go about your business, please. Jeez, aren't you a fun one? Um, you know any rumours? Things in the guild have been different since Traven was named Archmage. They're more structured, but everyone seems tense. Oh, okay. You, you went see? from don't talk to me to, oh, you want to gossip? Sure thing. Very quickly. Uh, I want to see if I can find a merchant that will buy my stuff real quick. I've headed into the market district, and... Hmm... None of these seem particularly magic-based, so maybe good as new? I'm, I'm literally just looking for anyone who's willing to buy stuff from me. Feel free That's to browse, friend. Yep, 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 Have yep. Have a look at my wares. Ooh, I'm sure damn, there's something to suit thing. you. All right. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's do a quick bit of haggling. Maybe I can sell items at 50% the price. You cool with that? You are. And hey, my skill's gone up. And okay, my staff worth 296. That's uh, not too terrible. All right, I'm just gonna sell all of my stuff that I've managed to pick up. You drive off. Because yeah, I don't really need it. And oh, nice, 600 gold for this. Yeah, I'm gonna make That's quite a, a bit of deal. money, thanks to um, that not being able to use price. anything. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Pushed myself over two grand in value, and obviously got my carry weight down quite a bit. I've got all these alchemy stuffs, the Hamlet of Kings, keys and lockpicks. I'm I really am traveling light. It is nice to not really have to worry about carry weight, because I find Oblivion's particularly bad for that. Um, also, it's bad for working out where you need to go. Okay, down here, so let's go this way, and I may as well make it to the entrance, seeing as it's so close to a place I can fast travel to. It would appear I've found the entrance. I mean, it's not the one over there, that's a different cave. Oh, it's here. You know, when they said Aeliad Ruin, I was kind of expecting something fancier. You know, alien ruins in this game look quite nice. Really, are you not gonna <laughs> get out of the water? S okay, screw you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, get punched. <laughs> I just want to kill this one mud crab. Are you dead? <laughs> okay, you're dead. Lovely. All right, well we've made it to this place. Uh, do let me know in the comments if there's anything I desperately should do before heading in here, because I have a feeling this is going to be a tricky dungeon. Harder than anything else I've found so far. And I'm still on pretty basic spells, so who knows how it will go. If you have been enjoying this series, though, never forget to leave a like, as it helps boost the analytics and stuff. As to comments, so thank you to everyone who regularly comments. It really does help. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thank you all very much for watching. Sarge out.